everyone and welcome back to my channel for the second part of the Parisian home decor boutiques series episode one in the first part I took you along with my friend Lena to a couple of Parisian boutiques including Merci or Herbarium this week I will continue my little tour and I would love to know in the comments down below which shops you love the most and why as always if you enjoyed this video please like it subscribe to my channel for more content on home decor and share this with anyone you think would like it The first stop in this part 2 is the PHV Marais, which stands for the Bazaar de l'Hôtel de Ville. Basically, this is a department store where you could find anything from homeware to tableware, anything you need. I stopped there because I wanted to show you where you can buy very mainstream tableware and homeware in Paris. The prices definitely vary depending on what you were looking for. I actually ended up seeing the lamp that I bought a couple of months ago at this point, as well as beautiful other lamps. Inside the BHV, you also have corners and we stopped by Sit and See. I just wanted to show you what they had in terms of decor. I think once again this is a really cute place and a cute store as well. It was very colorful and it gave very summer vibes which I appreciated. I also love the material for this vase and this water jug. Unfortunately, I ended up not visiting Portobello because they were closed. I think it was their lunch break. And I thought I was going to come back, but I just got really tired and ended up continuing on my way. Since Portobello was closed, I decided to take a stroll around Saint Paul, which is also called the neighborhood of Le Marais. This is in the third arrondissement in Paris and this neighborhood has Jewish stores and a lot of great restaurants. I definitely recommend hanging out there on the weekends or even during the week since it's amazing to walk around. and they have great cafes and stores. My third stop is not new to this channel. It is called the library Yves Lambert. I believe that I included this library or bookstore in a previous vlog and for the funny story I remember filming inside but then not remembering what was the address so this was a happy find. Obviously this is a library so you will be able to find books or magazines ranging from 11 euros to 350 at least that's what I found on their website. I definitely recommend this place for anyone who likes magazines that are maybe a little niche or subject matters that are niche or specific as well. And yes, I had a really good time there. I actually ended up talking with the owner for a little bit. I like the selection of books and magazines that they have. I know that some of the magazines that I found online, specifically magazines that are not necessarily French, it is definitely easier to find them there. So 
So yes, if this is the type of place you're looking for, then definitely check it out. And even if you don't want to buy anything, I still think that it is worth the visit. Okay, the fourth boutique is a home goods store called Céladon and it was closed when I got there, so I had to come back. I was very curious about this fifth boutique when I saw it on the internet because it is both a restaurant and a home goods store. Actually, to access the home goods store, you have to go through the restaurant, which is really cute. And now I kind of want to come back and eat there because the Italian food looked amazing. But let's get back to the home goods store. So a lot of what they have is tableware, so linens, but also plates and utensils, anything that you can wish for. The price range is pretty reasonable and it definitely looks of quality. I personally kind of fell in love with the way the space was arranged. I really liked how there was order but there was still this feeling of a place that is full, sort of like maximalism i guess but yes in any case i really recommend this place if you're looking for linens or tableware some of the tables they had dressed for instance screamed summer and they really made me want to have wonderful dinners with friends and family around a lot of colors and beautiful plates I definitely think that I will be coming back to purchase a couple of things which include some of the glasses that looked amazing. In the back of the store you can also see the linens for the bed. I decided to go back to Céladon, but before that, I thought I deserved a bit of a break. By this point, Lena had left and I was tired and a little thirsty, so I stopped by this little cafe and got myself a lemonade. And we're back! And black! So this fourth boutique is called Céladon and I had not decided on the store when I mapped up my itinerary. However, on the front door it said that they produce their tableware in Portugal. As a kid who spent all of her holidays in Portugal where my mother bought most of her tableware, I got really curious. I wanted to see what they had and what it looked like. Well, I definitely wasn't disappointed. First, I think that the prices is very affordable. So 17 to 21 euros for a small plate and 89 to 109 euros for a big plate. I mean, I probably would buy the small plates, but you know, they are big enough to put a good amount of food. I personally really like the jugs. I think that they were the standout for me, although the plates and the bowls looked really cute as well. Honestly, I'm really glad that I ended up finding this little boutique. All right, everyone, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this episode, or at least the second part. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below which boutiques you like the best, not just with this part two, but part one as well. I'm thinking of taking a little break for like a week, don't worry. So there might be a video next week, but there might also not be one. In any case, I hope that you also take the time to rest and take care of yourself. 
I will see you very soon and have a good rest of your day. Bye.